Well, it's official. The best scalping indicator just got better. You guys have probably watched my previous video on the best scalping indicator and version two is now out. So in this video, I'm gonna do a detailed explanation of everything involved in this indicator and how to use it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Artie and this is The Moving Average, a show where we talk about everything day trading to keep you profitable on a consistent basis. So because the channel is so massive and the Discord group is absolutely like growing like crazy, there are so many people on there willing to help because they vibe with my mission, giving free information to people who need it. And so through that, one of the members of the community actually created an indicator using all of the indicators that I used to use in my previous videos and put them all into one bunch. And through that process, we realized that we could improve it just a little bit, giving more of a momentum indicator feel to this momentum indicator. So I'm gonna try to keep this video very short, run through the details with you guys, as well as show you what trade I took last night as a test because I just got version two last night. Let's jump into the charts. Okay, so we have Australian dollar, US dollar on the charts. And you guys know that I like to do my support and resistance levels on the one hour time frame. You should always be doing this markup before you throw on any indicator, before you do any price action analysis. Like this is what you should be doing and these are your targets. So usually I do my one hour markup and then I take it down to the 15 minute chart. So from here, I actually see my rejections off of support and resistance levels. I find my big ass candle because you guys know I like to trade my big ass candles. They are momentum shifting candles, really, really good entry points. So I find those and I take my trade to the next take profit area. The first version of this indicator was very, very simple. It took engulfing candles, three line strikes, and four moving averages, the 21, the 50, the 100, and the 200 period smooth moving averages. Now that indicator wasn't publicly listed, but we had a link in each video description, but now this new indicator version two is publicly listed. So what you're gonna do is click the indicators tab up at the top, and you're just gonna type in the Artie. It's gonna be called the Artie, the moving average official indicator by and literally, I cannot thank this person enough, Phoenix Binary. He is a absolute wizard when it comes to creating indicators. Make sure you set it as your favorites and make sure if you guys really like this indicator and you like all of his hard work and dedication, I'm gonna put a link down below to this, but definitely leave a thumbs up right here on the indicator. It helps him out a lot. Okay, so once you put up the indicator, you'll see how similar it is to the other one, except there are a few minor differences. We've gotten rid of the 100 period moving average. You can also put it back on in the settings if you wish. I don't personally like to trade off the 100. It's kind of like an in-betweener for me. So we have the 21, the 50, and the 200. Now you guys know that with my strategy, if we are above the 200, we are looking for buys. And if we are below the 200, we are looking for sells. And now the 200 period moving average is dynamic. Before it used to just be a solid red color, but now it has a momentum shifting tone. It kind of looks like those fruit by the foot candies that are tie dye colored. One, they're really tasty. And two, this helps show you the momentum. So if you haven't seen that previous video, the basic concept is this. You want a cross past the 200 and you want it to come up and retest the 21 or the 50 and continue the downtrend or the uptrend. Your indications of your entries are gonna be these big ass candles, whether it's a three line strike candle, meaning that there's three subsequent bullish and then one engulfing bearish, or it's just an engulfing, meaning it engulfs the previous candle. So you want that rejection off of that moving average and then a trend continuation. Your stop loss is gonna be about 2X the size of that engulfing candle, and then your take profit is 4X that engulfing candle, two to one risk to reward ratio. That was the normal setup, and that would have looked something like this. You get the engulfing candle, your stop loss is 2X that engulfing candle, and your take profit is 4X, haha, <laughs> 4X. But with this new momentum cloud in between the 20 and the 50 moving average, it'll actually show you a hue of red showing you the strength of the momentum of that move, letting you hold your trade longer instead of just a two to one risk to reward ratio. So you could have actually held your trade down to here when we started seeing a loss of momentum and a color change in the cloud. Then as the momentum starts shifting the other way, the red line turns to an orange and then a green showing that bullish momentum is returning. So I got this indicator last night at, 
I don't know, just before I was going to bed. And so I put it up on the five minute chart because five minute scalping is very common. And I tossed it up on Australian dollar, US dollar, because it's one of my favorite currency pairs to trade. At that time, I saw this big engulfing candle, like this huge 10 pip candle start forming. And I was like, cool, let's see how it works. I've already got my chart marked up. And then I saw this trend line right here being broken with that big ass candle. At that point, I see the cloud start turning green, so I got in on my entry right here. And when I'm trading reversals, I'm always targeting the next moving average. And so here, I simply targeted the 200. And I know at that point it's dynamic and is coming down towards the price, so I just let it run overnight because I know Asian session doesn't have that big of a move. And sure enough, when I woke up, I closed the trade and this was the profit. I know it's a 0 0.01, but I wanted to test it on a very, very small size trade. But still, it's like 13, 15 pips or something from my recollection, which is great because you've already analyzed your chart. You got your trend line on there. You traded your big ass candle. You see that it's going to move through the moving average and you just scalp that move between the 50 and the 200. 13 pips on a huge lot size is some good money. So let's get into the settings really quick. You have everything perfectly labeled. You can actually change your moving averages from smoothed, which is what I prefer, to simple, exponential, weighted, everything. You can change the period of each one of these moving averages if you so choose. I like to use these. Now, with the big ass candles and the three line strike, the big ass candle is just an engulfing candle, there's an option to make them strict. So with a three line strike, strict on a three line strike means that that last engulfing candle actually engulfs all three previous candles. So you will get less signals, but they will be more substantial. Same with the big ass candle, strict is fully engulfing that previous candle, like a nice engulfing, just eating that one. I'm going to get into the trade management in a second, but I want to show you the back testing feature. So you're going to have basically a cloud around the session that you prefer, whether it's Tokyo session, London session, or New York session. And you can set certain days of the week that you trade and only have it say on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, avoiding Monday and Friday. And also right here down at the bottom, if you do take screenshots of your chart, you can actually show the logo and on the bottom corner here, it's gonna show the moving average with the link to the YouTube channel to show your support for the channel and when you share your screenshots. Okay, so one of the biggest and best new features of version 2.0 is this chart up here on the top right hand corner. I wanted an ATR indicator, an average true range built into this indicator to show you at that time, the average true range. And if you haven't seen my how to set your stop loss video, I talk about the ATR in there. You can watch it right here, but essentially you want to take your ATR and either multiply it by 1.5 or two, because it shows you the true range at that time how big that candle might go up and down. So keeping your stop loss at 2X the ATR is gonna be a good way to set your stop loss. And it also gives you some other information. So if you do see your big entry candle. Okay, just to fully clarify this, the stop loss right here is going to be an ATR multiplier. So if you take 2X the ATR, so on the five minute chart right here, the ATR is 3.3, which is 3.3 pips. So if your stop loss is 2X your ATR at that time, it's gonna give you the number for that to put in as your stop loss. Break even is going to be a multiplier of the ATR. So you need to calculate how much commission and what your spread is on most, if not all of the currency pairs that you are trading. You'll have to fine tune this to your broker specifically and your risk to reward. You can keep it as a one to one or a two to one, which I prefer for all of my scalping trades. But keep in mind, you can also use this as a swing trading indicator and take much longer positions, getting a higher risk to reward like a one to five. So if I set this all up with my stop loss being being two times my ATR, my break even being 0.4 of the ATR because my spreads are really, really low on my broker and a one to four risk to reward ratio, you can see now these positions. If I entered either a long or short position on this candle, this would be my target for my current risk to reward. This would be my break even, which means the price would have to get to that point in order for me to have a zero balance trade. This is your entry and this is your stop loss. So at a glance, you have 
have this information ready for you. So like most people, we do all of our analysis on TradingView and then we take out MT4 on our phones and enter our trades that way. Here you have your take profit, you have your stop loss, you have everything set, and then you can either click buy or sell depending on which direction you're trading. This table right here gives so much value to this indicator and honestly, it makes it a game-changing indicator. All of the information is there for you guys. You see your entry candle with the big engulfing, the big ass candles or the three line strike. And if you set everything up with the spreads from your broker and the ATR indicator on here, it shows you every single number you should enter in on your trade. And if you guys are using this on mobile, it can actually make the chart smaller for you. You can just click the phone drop down right here on the size and it'll give you one column, whether you're only looking for long positions or whether you're only looking for short positions through this toggle option right here. It's super customizable. I mean, you can even adjust where you want it on your screen in the middle, on the top, on the bottom, right, left, anywhere. So if you guys are looking for a great scalping indicator, this is free. It's in the public library. I'm gonna have it linked down below. Essentially, you're trading with the trend. You're trading engulfing candles off of moving averages going with the trend. Now, if you're scalping reversals, you wanna see a loss of momentum, a color shift in between these two smooth moving averages, and you wanna target that 200. Once you get these huge momentum shifting candles and the moving averages start swooping, you can get in on your position here, take profit right here, just like I did on my practice trade last night. And it works out really, really well. And if you guys aren't aware, there's also a TMA divergence indicator. That's gonna be linked down below. It is not in the public library yet because we're still finishing up version two. I say we, I mean Phoenix. And here you get a great RSI with a floating moving average in between it. It also shows you bullish and bearish divergences as well as hidden divergences, bullish and bearish. Once version two is done, I will be doing a follow-up video on that. But this alone right here is gonna help you with your entries on your trades. If you get a bullish divergence and a big ass candle, you're good to go on a scalp. And if you guys wanna learn how to spot divergences on your own without this indicator, check out this video that I did right here on divergences. It is very, very good. And if you guys got some value out of this video and you like the way that I teach, consider subscribing to the channel by clicking this button right here. Don't forget to show your support on Phoenix's new indicator by leaving a like on that, as well as a like on this video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.